We are lifting weights here with an international cast. Roland, this is Roland <laughs> from Austria. We've got Sean Davis from uh, England. We're for, we're, the first exercise we're doing is the incline dumbbell press. Roland, how much weight would you normally use on this exercise? Normally, I would use around 80 pounds. 80 pounds? Yeah. Maximum? Wouldn't go any more? Well, I always do several repetitions, so uh, I usually not doing only one or two repetitions. I go right. for a whole set. It's around uh, 8 okay. to 12 reps. All right. Each set. Good, Sean. Jump on in there and show us how it's done. Whoa. Sean, for as big as Roland is, he says he only uses 80 pounds. How much do you normally work your way up to as far as poundage is concerned? <laughs> well, I, I'm the same as Roland. I only use around about 80 pounds. Wow. Because I'm a big believer in use the weight properly. You see a lot of guys in the gym, and they use big weights, and they cannot use the weights. Right. I'm a big believer in using the weight. So lower the weight a little bit and control it and use the weight. Good. I'm noticing that Roland's using full range of motion and being as tall as he is, he's got a longer range of motion that he's got to go through. But what you'll find customarily is some guys do the half reps. Full reps are probably more beneficial for you. Yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah. I feel that full reps are more beneficial for okay. you. Okay. Well, what we're working is the upper pec, and that's why this is called the incline dumbbell press, which is the portion of the pec that just come underneath the chin, the top portion of the pecs. A lot of American bodybuilders, Sean, use a lot of heavyweight. I go in the gym, you see Flex Wheeler throwing around 180-pound dumbbells. I mean, not everybody has to do that to get big packs. No, 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 no. Okay, let me jump in there. I found that when I, when I used the heavier dumbbells, that I had on, bad Sean. joints. So now that's why I use the smaller dumbbells, and I work the muscle, and my joints are a lot better. So like I say, I don't know whether rolling feels the same way. Well, for me, I think it's a great advantage because you get a very full range of motions using the dumbbells instead of the bar. Of course, you can't use that heavy weight, but still, you get a great, great stretch and it definitely works. Yeah, let's move on to the flat bench. We do it on the Smith machine. Uh, how much weight do you want on here? 200 pounds. Okay, give us one more plate rolling. <clears throat> Sean, how much are you weighing in? I weigh about 270 at the moment. 270 and how tall are you about? 5'9". That's a lot of I'm usually, I'm a little bit light at the moment. I usually weigh around about 290 to 285. So I haven't trained properly for about three months. I'm just beginning to get back into it. But like I say, I'm usually a little bit heavier. Jump in there. Rolling, give him a spot back there from the back. And on the Smith machine, what you'll notice is that you have to actually lift Come the weight on. off the bar and twist the bar back. That's what these apparatuses are. Okay. And the Smith machine, once again, is a little bit more, it's a little bit more smoother to do. And uh, it's easier to spot, too, because you can lift right there from the bar. Good, Sean. This is working the middle portion of the packs, okay? This is the meaty portion of the pack. When you start talking about how much can you lift, which is a common question in bodybuilding, this is what they want to know. How much can you press? How much, how much can you bench press? Sean, do you keep a running account of how much weight you bench press? No, I always work on the same weight usually. But, uh, I mean, I've done some heavy weights before. I've bench pressed 550, but I mainly, I use the Smith machine a lot now. Right. Because I feel that the Smith machine really works the pectorals. Right. Okay. But when I do use the Smith machine, I find that my weight is less because you're controlling the machine again. That's right, yep. How many repetitions and sets do you do? I am a big believer in eight reps. Eight reps. Eight to ten reps. Well, it's just the same here in America. There's really no difference other than you're based out of England. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, right, but we have a less, less of a rest in our, in our exercise uh, in England. What do you mean a less of a rest? Well, when I work out, I have a five-second rest between right. each set. Oh, okay. I do a drop set, what we call giant set. So what do you do if you have a training partner? Do you, do you drop set and then let your training yeah, partner go? I have a training partner, yeah. Okay. I'm just trying to buy time. <laughs> Give me a spot. A okay. great advantage here also is that you don't have to uh, get your concentration on balancing the weight because all you can concentrate is pushing the, the weights up Come on, Sean. and bring them down in a slow movement. That's a great advantage here. Actually, you don't really need a spotter because if you can't do it, you just lock it. It's not very dangerous okay, well, doing that. Good, good Sean. All right, let's go into some flies. How much weight do we want to use on the dumbbell flies? <laughs> 45. Let's just see. Yeah. Okay, grab those over there to warm up. Bring this bench out. Sean, over in England, are you using the, uh, the year on the kilogram system, right? No, we're using the pounds. Oh, pounds? Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. We're still in pounds in England. Yeah. Well, it's over in Aust Austria. You guys are using <laughs> the kilos, right? We're all using lots of kilos, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I get confused when I travel over to Europe. I'm like, how many kilos is this related to pounds? i got to have a calculator or something. Yeah, it's the only wrong. thing different about England, we, we drive on the wrong side of the road. So that's <laughs> everything different. Exactly.
And you guys over there, do you guys uh, have the Autobahn where you drive as fast as you want to drive? We or? can drive as much as, as fast as we can. <laughs> <laughs> How tall are you? I'm 6'4". 6'4", yes. wow. So it's, a lot of people have made, made the comparisons with you and Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yes, I'm sure you've I'm glad they compare me to Arnold, not to the individual. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Have you yeah. met Arnold before? I met Arnold before, yes. And, uh, he still trains at Gold, uh, at yeah. Wall's gym. Mm -hmm. And uh, he's just very intense and he yeah. gives us good positive energy. Well, good. I, what part, where were you born? Were you from, I guess, hometown or somewhere? My hometown is Vienna yeah. still, okay. but I made the decision recently to live here where the best are in order to be the best. Yeah, good. Well, that, that seems the whole shoe, Sean. I think that's why you're here. A lot of people, they outgrow where they're from, the little hometown in Nebraska or whether it's England or whatever, they come to America to, uh, you know, find that stardom and fame that they're looking for. America is the art of bodybuilding, no doubt about it. It's the Mecca. Everybody wants to train in America. And like I say, that's why I come to America. Well, because of the techniques, the new techniques, that's why I come here and, and find them out. Well, good. This is the flat bench flies, and what he's working basically is the inner portion of the pack. What you want to do is act like you're grabbing a, a big tree, and you move the weights in a circular fashion so that you can concentrate on the inner portion of the pack. I enjoy about bodybuilding is the fact that you carry it around 24 hours a day with you. It's your own personal, uh, how can I put it, you, you've built it, it's you, you know, not a teamwork, it's your own personal effort. So I enjoy getting in the gym, training hard, and it's like a rush for me. And uh, that, that is it really, it's just purely a rush.